we both went to Harding undergrad and we met in Eddie Clore's freshman Bible class. So Tim was sitting on the front row on purpose because that's the type of student he was. I was sitting on the front row next to him because I was running a little bit late to class and that's what was left. So, uh, yeah, it's a typical Harding story where you meet in freshman Bible class and, um, just thinking we were going to class at 8 a.m., just trying to stay awake. And in the, in the meantime, God puts the person in your life that you're going to marry and be with for the rest of your life. Fun, fun turn of events. Yeah, Eddie Clore had actually said before class started the first day that we might be sitting next to our spouse. And as an 18-year-old, I thought, okay, no, no way, that's crazy. And then Tim was thinking that everything he heard about Harding was true. It is a marriage factory. Yeah, it was pretty terrifying. I think one of Vanessa's friends was planning her um, bridal party or wedding or something like that, and I was terrified. So, and that's probably when you noticed me because I was, you, you say I was laughing. I was probably just scared, but um, that's when she saw me, and it was love at first sight, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, we have three kids. So our oldest two were actually born in Hungary. So Alina is now 24. She's married to Blake Stout and lives in Oklahoma. She's a math teacher and he's a youth minister. And she also helps out with the youth group there. And then our middle daughter is Anna and she's married to Derek Yingling. And she's about to graduate from Harding this May. And then our youngest is Theo and he's a sophomore at Harding. Well, I first started thinking about mission, mission, missionaries, mission work, actually when I was in high school. Uh, I went to Europe when I was 16 with a student group. My mom planned ahead and she had me meet missionaries all along the way. And, and, and really it was, it was uh, the, the moment that I was lost in Sofia, Bulgaria, where I thought, okay, I don't know where I am, I don't know where I'm going, but this is really cool and I think I could do this. And so uh, when I returned to the States um, at, at the end of that trip, that's really when the, the seed was planted in terms of when I might, uh, th that someday I might want to do long-term missions. Uh, when, when I came to Harding, I met a, the visiting missionary at the time, his name was Scott Owens, and he said something that has always stuck with me. Once you go on these mission trips, uh, you're always wanna go, you, you will always want to go back, and I, I called that the Scott Owens curse because it was true. Uh, once. Once we went to Hungary for our first short-term mission trip in 1992, um, we've we basically not stopped going back. And it's been a, a wonderful journey for about 30 years. Well, to to be a missionary is it it does take a lot of preparation, just like any any major job would. Um, when you when you move overseas, you you have to plan for learning the language, learning the culture where you're gonna live, uh, and, and keep in mind, this was back in, we moved there in 95. We, we decided in 93 that, that we were pretty confident that we would move back there for, uh, for long-term work. Um, our short-term trips resulted in, in new baptisms, uh, new, new church plants, but there weren't any long-term missionaries there to help. So after we left Hungary in, in the summer of 93, we went for two summers in a row. That's pretty much when we decided that, that, that we might be the ones who would help these churches um, become established uh, as long-term missionaries. And so from, from that point forward, we, we were looking for people to go with us. We were doing research on the culture. We were trying to figure out how to learn the language. It took a couple of more trips over to do research. This was all pre-Google, uh, so we couldn't do any, search, any research online. It all had to be done through printed books, through interviews, questions, telephone calls, and, and actually going to the country to do a preliminary research. Yeah, we attended every missions opportunity conference lecture that we possibly could. So there was a lot of work that it went into it, and, and that's something that surprises a lot of people with mission work is that uh, just like any major job, this, this takes a lot of preparation ahead of time, and, and it took us about uh, two, two and a half years of preparation before we moved there. Uh, we will always have a heart for mission work. We will always be, we will always consider ourselves disciple makers and, and uh, as Anessa said, the, the desire to follow God's calling is really what it's all about for us. And so God led us to Hungary, He led us to Harding, 
and we'll we'll be here for as long as God has us placed here. And in the meantime, we'll we'll share the gospel. We'll try to take groups to to um, to Hungary or other places uh, overseas, or like Anessa said, if, if we're invited to go somewhere, and and uh, and God opens that door, then we're more than happy to step through that door.